Does I say this to future for me in politics, Eric? <laughs> there might be. Are you going to make America great again? I don't know. I think you and Don Fry would make a really good team in politics. Yeah, I said we had to call uh, Don Fry. I had, had to put him in charge of the military. Sergeant in arms, Don Fry. Yes. I couldn't imagine getting a call from him on the telephone about a military strike. Hello. Where? When did that voice start with Don Fry? You, you know, I don't know because when he <laughs> when he was li- when when I was coaching him at Arizona State, when he was living with a couple of my younger brothers, he didn't have that voice. And, and even when they uh, when they when he when he first contacted me and uh, wanted to, uh, you know, wanted to get in, he's like, "Sever, can you help me get in to the to the UFC? Get me into the state." And I, and I go. I, I could probably at least make an introduction, try to get your foot in the door. Yeah, but that's why I to tell people that's the only credit I will ever take. Don Fry is what have kicked it wide open for himself. Yeah, but, I, was, uh, I was watching an interview with him not long ago, and I was like, that sounds like a completely different Don Fry. Uh, you know, when, when I was on the Toxic Masculinity podcast with you guys, I was I was picking around saying, you know, I don't quite have the mustache of, of you yet, Don. He's like, keep crying, kid. I was like, where in the world did that voice come from? It's well, very masculine. I, I, honestly, Don has one of those kind of voices that he should be doing voiceover work <laughs> in Hollywood because he's got one of those same type of voices that uh, you know some of the other great voiceover people that they have that that looming voice is like, oh, it's like it's God speaking to me right now. No, it's just Don Front. Yes. <laughs> What do you think what everybody always asks about you going up against Don Fry? And obviously that never happened. But what would have happened if there was a battle of the mustaches? Whose mustache do you think would have Oh, won? I would simply concede. I mean, it's a Don's is so much more bolder, more unruly, uncontrollable. Dan, Dan Severance mustache is refined, it's trimmed, it's proper. It's uh I I, I won't use the word domesticated yet, because I always tell say that somewhere in <clears throat> every every athlete's career sooner or later domestication takes place and what i mean by that is that you no longer pursue certain things and uh, you are domesticated and you are housebroken yeah, I don't know. The funny note about that, some of the viewers on that are going, what, what does that mean? That does that ever have like a cat box or something like that in the house? Or <laughs> does that, does that ever have accidents on the, the, the carpeting or something? <laughs> no, it's kind of, kind of comical because, again, to the non athletic type of viewers that may view this, or even if, if, if you were involved in athletics, if you only achieved a certain level, but never really tasted some of the fruits of, being that person, there, there, there's a big difference in that. There's a lot of participants. How much of the success of your career do you owe to your mustache? Oh, I, I, I would, I would give anything to the mustache. I mean, it, it, it's well, only when it comes into to some sense of. Well, again, it's, it's even like like now. I have white hair. I have a white mustache, and. Uh, but throughout my entire career, there's not a single UFC event I ever participated with or any other cage fight event that, that I was involved with or any professional match I ever was involved in that my hair was not colored. Right. I've told Bob about this before. Just from in number 45, the same box. I still probably have one or two boxes of it unused, still sitting up in, in, in one of my cabinets right now. And... Uh, you know, because I've had different people that have I've been respectful to me that I got that more like, is this going to, you know, because i got a couple potential movie type things that might be happening down the road. And they're like, is this the, the new look that you're going to be showing? I go, well, just think of it as one of a couple of different looks. This is what you might want to see in, in one aspect. But I go, maybe if, that, if you want to do like flashbacks with well, that, I could color the hair, color the mustache, color the eyebrows, and, you know. I'm just happy that I still have hair that I can color.